big with us, Canada. This week's guest baker is musician Jacob Moon. And this week's recipe is for chocolate cake. Welcome back to Baking for Change. I'm your host, Wendy Pauls, and we have a treat for you today. And I'm not just talking about the treat at the end where we get to taste the delicious stuff that we've been baking. But if you've been following along with us, you know we've had bakers baking with us, we've had some politicians baking with us, and we have musicians baking with us. Very exciting. Today's guest is Jacob Moon. And you know I get excited about this show. I get excited about the guests. I get excited about eating. Surprise, surprise. Jacob and I go way back. Like, I don't want to give a number, right? <laughs> don't give a number. Don't give a number. Let's like, not get it. You know, I was told there'd be least, no math. At least 10 at years. Yeah, you know, at least 10 years. We go years. way back. So this yeah. is really cool. So we get to have a, a musician that's going to bake with us on the show, but also, yeah, a long time friendship. So that's, it's just an extra treat for me, and I'm sure you'll enjoy it as well. So, Jacob, thank you in advance for carving time out of your very busy schedule. Yeah. We were already chatting about the many hats that Jacob wears because of the the parts of the business people don't see. It's not mm. all glamorous to be a rock star. Is any of it glamorous? I mean, maybe for a little bit on stage, it's glamorous. Well, see, but the rest of the time, not glamorous. Yeah. That's what people no, see. That's right. right. I suppose you're right. But he's taking time out of his busy schedule to to bake with us today, so that's very exciting. <laughs> so, thank you. Yeah, baking. This is. I mean, it's, baking will happen. I don't know if I'm a baker. I don't, <laughs> well, you I don't are. Think I really do it. We, well, you know, yeah. I think to be a baker, you'd have to be paid to bake. I well, don't think that's I'll give happens. you. I'll You're give you a give loony me money at the end of this. All right. I'll then I'll be a professional. And then you can be a professional baker. Okay, great. So I do want to talk yep. about what you're up to, but first, just so that people at home can kind of get ready, because sometimes yeah. they bake along with us. Oh yeah. So let's tell them what we're going to be making today. Well, today it's a one bowl chocolate cake. Now to achieve this, uh, you know, with the, the television magic here, we need a gigantic glass bowl. We don't have a gigantic glass bowl, so we're going to do our, our, our sort of dry ingredients first, mm -hmm. then our wet ingredients, then it's all going to go in one bowl, and we're going to mix it. Pretty simple ingredients that you probably have around the house, things like flour and sugar and uh, baking soda and baking powder mm -hmm. and uh, salt and, um, you know, uh, cocoa powder, stuff like that. That's what you want to get ready. You want to get some of these ingredients all set. So mm -hmm. a couple of cups of white sugar, whatever mm -hmm. you've got on hand is great. Um, a, a, a cup and three quarters of flour. Um, and then you're gonna wanna go with a teaspoon of, sh of salt and a teaspoon and a half each of baking soda and baking powder. Yeah. Later in the show, I wanna ask you, similarities between baking and writing or performing music but not oh, yet because we haven't good. that's good baked yet but, okay so we'll be thinking about that okay i'll think about that before we get started yes tell us what you're working on right now with your music career what yeah. shows are you doing what well, like, brings yeah. up to speed I'm, I'm working on a new album which is all kind of people it's i did a coverage album about 10 years ago mm -hmm. and it was all rock bands Okay. But I've uh, really grown up with James Taylor, Jackson Brown, Johnny mm. Mitchell, Carol King, a lot of these kind of great mm. song, singer-songwriters. Yeah. So I'm doing a show that's all about those songwriters, and I'm doing a, an album that's all about uh, some of those greatest songs from those Fantastic. icons. You know. So if people are interested, mm -hmm. where should they look to find out where you're playing? So you can go to jacobmoon.com, and mm -hmm. all, all the events are there. Um, I'm working on a website for my new band, which is Classic mm -hmm. Troubadours Live. The songs of James, Joni, Jackson, and Carol, oh, and that's fantastic. touring currently uh, on a spring tour out in Ontario. So oh, amazing! Yeah. There you go. So, so you know, besides eating some delicious food, you can go listen to some great music. Maybe, yeah. maybe you should serve cake at your concert. That's not a bad idea. I thought about moon pies. Don't think I didn't Ooh. cross my mind. You know, just oh, throwing oh. out the half the half moon loons. You know, from straight yes. from the Vashon box. Yes. Just you know, just it mm. gets expensive. You know, yeah, maybe you scale. have to make them. Yourself. Maybe you have to make, yeah, maybe that's the way to go. Yeah, yeah it's true. Maybe you're VIP yeah, fans. That's true. Just the first few rows. Yeah. Pies. We're like on to something. You heard it here first. This is just a okay. Great we could incubator talk all day. For ideas. I suppose we should get baking. <laughs> Let's bake. Okay. So, what are so, we going to do first? So, I think what we got to do is combine all of these, uh, these kind of ingredients, these okay. uh, uh, mm -hmm. the dry ingredients. So, I'm just going to go ahead and 
chuck this stuff chuck in, in there. Okay. And get it all in there. It's all yep. the flour. Now the sugar's going in, the best part. Amazing. Think about all that sugar. <laughs> if you ate the whole pie, the whole cake. If you, you did, you yeah. consume all of that. It doesn't seem right. No, but no, it doesn't. delicious at the same time. Totally yeah, delicious. Yeah. You gotta have some. And yeah. then we should probably mix it up. Uh, so yeah. maybe you just grab your little cocoa uh, in there too. Oh, let's put the cocoa. Yeah. That's a good idea. Actually, yeah, there you go. I'm gonna see how well. Oh, <laughs> there we this. go. Already see, we're making real a mess. Life. If you're not making a mess, you're not doing it right. This is the problem. So. I like your. Okay. I like your thinking. Yeah, just, so why did you choose? Um, chocolate cake oh today. it's the greatest a chocolate mm -hmm. cake is just and my kids are delighted when i bring home a chocolate cake it's mm -hmm. just it is the it's the it's kind of it's you think what what would make a person happy if you just brought them one food item mm -hmm. and a chocolate cake wins every time mm -hmm. there's never a case where it doesn't mm -hmm. I mean, unless there's some kind of food allergy, I just I just think most people are just delighted to see a chocolate cake. So would it be a choice for your birthday? Would you like a chocolate cake? Yes, hundred percent, hundred percent. From a certain bakery in town, yes. Oh, no, I wouldn't want. Okay. I wouldn't want, want to bake it. Do we want a name drop? I think it'd be at Viles Bakery in Hamilton. Do you remember it oh, in Westdale? Okay. You've been no, to Hamilton a bunch. Right? I've been. Family, yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Or Kevin has family there, anyways. Yeah. yeah so. Um, but yeah, Viles Baker, they just, they have they, a killer buttercream, icing, so all the things, mm -hmm. you know, they just care. Mm -hmm. You know, the missing ingredient, folks, is love. If you don't mm -hmm. love what you're doing, if you don't whisper the thing into being and, uh, it really be there for every step of creating it, um, that's the thing that you taste at the end of it, mm -hmm. is whether mm -hmm. the person baking it loved it. Yes. Yeah, so are you going to sing to these ingredients today? <laughs> I need to today? sing to the ingredients. So... You have a couple music videos that we're going to be sharing with yeah. our bakers today. Uh, which one are we going to be seeing first? So this one is called Tennessee, and it's a song mm -hmm. that I wrote um, when I was on tour in Saskatchewan. Mm -hmm. But uh, I didn't want to say the word Saskatchewan in a movie or in a song because it's kind of difficult to you know, rhyme, number one. True. And True. say number two. So yeah. uh, I just made it called the Tennessee because it had the same similar feeling. So, yeah. yeah. Well, enjoy. From the moment we're breathing On this side of Eden We're wandering around trying to find a home And if the spirit is speaking low And you don't hear it A pain is a cosmic megaphone
Okay, so we did our dry ingredients yep. and put them in here. Yep. What are we doing now? So we're gonna add the wet ingredients here. Mm -hmm. Just get it all in there. You get your milk, okay? Mm -hmm. you, got a, you got a cup of milk. You've got a, a teaspoon of, uh, is that a full teaspoon or is that a half teaspoon? I don't know, I'll, I'll put it in the notes. It'll all be in the show notes. Absolutely. Okay, and you've got yes. a half of a cup of uh, some kind of oil. This is sunflower oil, one of the bad oils, sorry. <laughs> um, and then, uh, but you could use grapeseed oil, you could use uh, vegetable oil, whatever you like. Um, and two eggs, all right? So I'm gonna crack a couple eggs. Look, look at, at, look at how brave it. he's being. He's going direct mm, to bowl. See? Which I can you never do that? Why not? Why do because you never do that? Because if you get a shell, you got to fish it out. But if you put it in there first. Yeah, but the technique. See, see if you can, you can yeah. crack it. You saw it. You did really well. It's like he does this all the time. <laughs> he is actually a baker. See, no, I just make scrambled eggs every morning. That's what ah, it is. Ah, okay, okay. And then we're going to put this guy in our ah, stand okay. mixer, which I, by, okay. by the way, have never used. I don't oh. know what this is. I don't know okay. what's happening. Very cool. All right. So you can direct me on this one here. Okay, what, we're going to start works. slow. Slow, is that Just what it so says? that it doesn't, well, start slow, but so that we don't get like flour and... Because a medium is what it wants for two minutes. Okay. So I'm going to put a timer on. When you go to medium, you tell All me. All right. Let's see how high does this go. I'm going to say... Go medium. That's going to be medium right okay. there. Okay, here we go. Start yeah. in two minutes. All right. Nice. Goody Goody is a non-profit bakery offering training and jobs for refugee youth. Hi, it's Stephen at Goody Goody, and that was Wendy Pauls, the host of the Baking for Change show. We're getting ready to launch our first ever pop-up bakery, and we could really use your help. We want to earn our way, not just accept donations. So 100% of the profit from our bakery sales and 100% of your donation goes towards paying our young refugee staff. Everyone at Goody Goody is a volunteer, and we don't pay for things like rent or advertising, so our administration costs are almost zero, which makes us a pretty good choice when deciding who you want to support. There's a donation link right on our website, as well as in the description section of this video. And the more you donate, the more refugee kids we can bring into our program. For more information, visit goodygoody.ca. Thank goodness it's Friday, because that's the day Goody Goody Pop-Up Bakery is open. Goody Goody is a non-profit bakery providing training and jobs for refugee youth. Delicate French petit fours giant New York style cookies and chocolate from Peace by Chocolate in Nova Scotia. And 100% of the profit goes to support their young refugee staff. Every Friday from 10 to 3 at Community Christian Reformed Church, 1275 Gleams Road, right at Fisher Holman in Kitchener. Okay, you've got some boiling water there. Boiling water. What's happening with that? It's going in, people. It's going in. We're going to stir mm. it in. Okay? So maybe just give a little uh, whiskiness here. No, this is new. This I is don't new. think I've done a recipe like this before. This, now other this than comes, the pudding cakes. Yeah, but it, sees, it comes from allrecipes.com, which I ah, just implicitly trust. Yes. Because I feel like by the time it's gotten through... Yeah. All the people commenting and yeah, saying, no, this was terrible. Yep. You know, mm -hmm. eventually you get to the point where you've got some, you've got a consensus that this is a good recipe. Mm -hmm. It's worth making. It doesn't yeah. have any problems. Or if there were problems, they were corrected uh, after the fact by the comments and all the users' experience. See, you're not so, just talented. You're, you're wise. <laughs> So I just don't want to screw it up. I want to do it one. I don't. I want to do the recipe one time, and uh, I don't want to mm -hmm. have to see. Look at that. It's nice and thin. Oh yeah. So it'll no, it's, pour it's great. well. Yes. And as long as it's kind of mixed through, we can yeah. pour it easily into our okay. pans. Yes. And then if there's leftovers, we can hey, maybe make it a triple layer. I don't mm -hmm. know. Get crazy, right? So there's our two pans. We're gonna pour this now into the two pans. Maybe not 
all the way up. No, I was going to say leave some room for it to rise a bit. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll go maybe about that far with that one there. That was some skill shown there. I'm yeah. impressed. Okay, I'm impressed. Thank you. And then this guy here, same sort of level. Oh, and we've been preheating our oven. Yes, at... to 350, guys. Okay. Okay, and it's going to kind of go in there. These two are going to go in there and uh, bake uh, for a period of um, what looks like to be uh, 30 to 35 minutes. While we're letting things cool and preparing to taste your talent, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, I think you have another music video for I us do. to watch. I do. It's called The Great Beyond. And uh, this is a uh, live performance that I did on stage with my band. And mm -hmm. uh, it's normally something I play by myself, but I involved the band as well as did some live looping on my own. Um, and I hope you enjoy. Fabulous. Ledge, don't I feel like the edge of the universe? Looking down now, you get it through the spin in your head. It's like an insane urge to jump out of this skin. To jump out of this skin. When you fall, would you feel it at all? Would your feet touch ground? Would your soul take flight like you waited all your life to be outward bound? Touch the mystery Hey, can you see me now? Grow me smaller in your window For something deep inside me Leads me on Taking me to the great beyond The sound of the cars and you know where you are where you've always been In a world of space and time that you find it pulls you in
we had some extra delicious batter that we didn't want to waste. You can't waste it. No. It's not allowed. It's so just, what did we do? So we just kind of made them into little, I don't know, what are these? Mini cakes? <laughs> exactly. These are like uh, bowl cakes. Bowl it's cakes. It's not really a cup, right? So I'm going to try to see if I can kind of like get it out of here. Let's see if what we were think? successful. Oh, there good. Go. Yeah. Yeah. Look These are our makeshift cooling racks. Yes. Genius. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's We've got you, MacGyver here. You work with what you've got. You yeah. Know, you can kind of make it go. But, um, see, so this is showing you're a creative guy through and through. <laughs> <laughs> Not just musically. So we're going to chill these guys. We're going to chill these guys and come back and ice them. Is what we're going to do. You going to do it? Oh, the icing's I'm the excited. best part. It's my favorite part. Okay. okay. And we're just going to go yep. start lovingly okay. applying lovingly. it. Lovingly. It's all about oh, the love. I can still, this is still warm. People <gasps> can taste the love, you know, you if you love it. it. Okay, so while you're doing this, remember yes. the question at the beginning? Yeah. I said... How is baking like either writing or um, performing music? Yeah. What are the similarities? Well, um, you know, in, in both cases, you can get burned, I suppose. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's one thing. Okay. Um, <laughs> things can go wrong. Things can go and, wrong. Uh, it's yep. a disaster, and uh, you got to start all over again. Okay, so what's, what's, the, <clears throat> what's the frosting in your show? Oh, good question. What's the frosting in your yeah. show? Um, yeah, well, I mean, it's probably, I'm a live looper, so mm. I kind of do a thing where I, I, I step on pedals and I make music uh, and then record the music in real time yes. and then make more music on top it. of that. I've seen it. It's amazing. It's fun. It's amazing. We're transferring. Yep. We're transferring. Yep. Here yep. we go. Good job. Here we go. Yes. And I might need to sort of uh, purloin some of your uh, yeah, frosting I as have, well. I have lots here. Okay. My little cakes are done. Because I just, you know, I think a good thick layer is oh, good, yeah. you know? Makes you come back for more. Absolutely. People say like, oh, that was rich. You know, it was good, but it was, too, it was rich. Not even one piece, you know? That's, I think the job is, is, is then well done. See, I would think, though, in your concerts, you want to leave people wanting more. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. You don't you want them stuffed. You can't overfrost the cake when you when you're when you're doing a show. Absolutely right. Yeah. And I'm doing the back here. I should be doing the, the uh, cosmetic edge here, so you guys can kind of see what's happening. Um, you're doing so that's, just a fine job. Am I doing okay? Yeah. You're doing All right. a good job. Yep. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's uh, when I'm when I'm performing. Um, you know, these days I'm having so much fun playing with a band. I've played mm. so many solo shows over the years. So mm -hmm. this is kind of a solo activity, uh, baking in a way, although we did this together today, See? which was great. And you didn't make mistakes. Maybe you need to be part of I, like I a kinda, band. I kind of feel like I do. Yeah. Although right now. I'm part of the band, the baking band. When you're, so, when you're, when you're frosting the cake, don't push it around. So it goes off center. Okay. There right. you go. Well, cause you have a nice thick layer in the middle there. Yes. This is just really... I think something else, another similarity would be preparation is key. Preparation, yes. The science of it, mm -hmm. don't, you know, God is in the details, they say, mm -hmm. right? And so I think you've really got to uh, uh, respect the details or the details will come to remind you of uh, how their power to ruin your little show. And, uh, you know, Murphy's Law is always at work mm -hmm. when it comes to... Um, when it comes to shows and so you have to really respect that as well that if something's going to go wrong it, it's, it, will. It, it will and it will at the worst possible time mm -hmm. and so just make it happen in rehearsal just try yes. to try to yes. rehearse long yeah. enough to yes. make the same mistake you would have made on stage and then you can in the rehearsal room and you can fix it and you can yeah. fix it yeah, yeah. that's yeah. the key and it's the same thing with this if you can kind of have a couple of bad cakes mm -hmm. suddenly now you're capable and maybe you've earned the right to make a good cake right so yes. I don't know if this is Look exactly as beautiful well, as it could be, but okay, I'm going to keep working it's, at it. Uh, it's yeah. looking pretty, pretty I'm trying delicious. To get this, I'm trying to seal this layer between, so it doesn't right. look like there's two sure. layers, like but there's just one. kind of one big layer. Now, let me say, doesn't this give you respect for those bakers that oh. make those pieces of art? I don't understand the whole fondant thing. Yeah. I don't understand how you can make things that like. Is it cake? Have you seen this show on Netflix? Oh, I haven't seen that one. There's no. there's, no. there's there's items that look like printers, okay. refrigerators. Is it a refrigerator or, or is, is it, it a cake? cake? Mm. Let's taste it. You know, and, see. and that's right. And they take a knife and they try to cut it. If it can't cut it, okay, it's not cake. But when they cut into it, it's so satisfying. Mm. When they just bisect this little so piece satisfying. of cake. are 
already portioned yes. for tasting. So we're not even going to ruin the cake itself. We're going to leave thinking. it intact. Yeah. yeah. And we're going to taste. I think we have some forks over there Let's beside the you. Forks. Yes. And I think we should. Do you eat these with forks? Is that how we do? I don't know. Okay, let's try it. Let's, okay, first of all, let's cheers our plates. Cheers. cheers. Wendy, this is fun. This is fun. All getting right. To, getting to bake. <laughs> ready, ready? All right, here we go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Are you proud of yourself? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. A little crispy on the outside. Mm-hmm. I like that. So we left it in just long enough for that to happen, but yeah. not long, so, so long that it dried out the inside. Your timing was perfect. That worked out very serendipitously yes. because I didn't really know what I was doing. So there you go. So let me thank you again for it's making the time pleasure. to come and bake with us today. Mm -hmm. And please, a reminder to check out his website to see where his shows are. Absolutely worth going and seeing him perform live. You won't be disappointed. Thanks again. Thank you, Andy. Thanks for watching and see you next time on Baking for Change. Special thanks to Wendy Pauls and Jacob Moon, ClickBid Studio, Red Path Sugar, Danby Appliances, and Community Christian Reformed Church.